2024 might just be the year of Marvel with the latest episode of Agatha all along. Now this is your spoiler warning, come back after having seen the show because this episode is absolutely bonkers. This episode gives us all the answers about Billy Maximoff and there's a lot to talk about here. We see his origin and how he became Billy Maximoff despite Billy not really existing in the MCU anymore and it's pretty simple. Basically the soul of Billy latched onto the body of Billy Kaplan after Billy Kaplan died in a car accident at the exact same time as the hex falls apart. We see that Lilia was the one who gave him the sigil which also explains why Billy existed this whole time but Wanda just didn't look in the 616 universe because he was hidden from all the witches and she also kind of sends him down the path whilst also trying to stop him from going down this path at the same time. We also get a cameo from the goat himself, Ralph Boner. Boner. <laughs> or Bonerific69, who tells Billy everything about Westview. And we also get more answers as to who he played in the Westview Hex. He is in fact Agatha's husband, at least in the Hex, which we all knew but it was never really outright confirmed by the show. And he also was the one who killed Sparky, not Agatha, which is a twist I did not expect. But seeing him back in the MCU was definitely not on my scratch card for this year. We then see Billy track down Agatha and we see his perspective of the first episode and it's just so funny seeing Agatha imagining herself as a detective in her living room and her living room is the interrogation room and Catherine Hahn's performance in this was so good and it's pretty much identical to her interrogation scene in the first episode. The episode ends revealing Billy's wish on the witch's road and that is to find his brother Tommy not his mother Wanda and we get an explanation for that. The reason is that he's basically annoyed the fact that Wanda chose the town over them but that's also from the point of view from Agatha, it's not actually from Billy himself so we don't actually know but it's more or less that. But this episode reminds me a lot of the fourth episode of WandaVision which also had a similar episode explaining everything but unlike that one, this one is significantly better. The one in WandaVision is just the first three episodes again, but from the perspective of Monica and everyone outside of the Hex. But this one gives us a lot more context to what's happened so far. The episode also proves that this is actually a sequel to WandaVision, which the other episodes kind of lacked because there wasn't any direct connection to WandaVision besides the fact that Agatha is just still in the mind spell. But this episode proves it wrong, and WandaVision is now deeply rooted within this show, which brings us back to the good old days when Marvel films were all interconnected and that's what was so good about Marvel. Now everything just seems separate, but seeing WandaVision and this show pretty much be hand in hand and you can't watch one without the other is actually what we needed all along. This episode has truly elevated the show to one of the best shows so far in the MCU. This show really has risen the ranks. Like I'll be honest, it still doesn't live up to WandaVision and Loki, but it's almost there on WandaVision level, provided that they don't fumble the last three episodes. And yet somehow this feels more like a Marvel show than any other show recently. And that's really saying something, like we had Kingpin and Echo and that felt less like a Marvel show than this and yet there's no big Marvel cameos in this. I think the best part of the show is just the lack of hype for the show because it pleasantly keeps surprising me and that's a good thing really. Overall this episode is an 8 out of 10, genuinely one of the best episodes of Marvel television out in a while. Subscribe and comment below your thoughts about the episode and the show overall.